Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today we're making one of my favorite winter dishes, which if I'm being completely honest, I have this dish all the time, not just in the winter. Today we're making a spicy beef stew, which I love adding some sweet potatoes because it elevates this stew to the next level. Now, if you want to learn how to make this dish, then just keep watching. I love making beef stew because it is a great way to play with a bunch of different seasonings. So if you have some cumin that you don't typically use, like it's a good time to use it in a beef stew simply because seasonings have a really good chance to just kind of dance around and play around. Now I do have a ton of ingredients listed here on the table. So don't be intimidated if you don't have all of these ingredients ready in your house. Pretty much all you really need is a good seasoning salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and you're ready to go. But if you want to learn how to make this dish in particular, I have all the ingredients listed for you right here. We're going to start off by creating an awesome marinade for our beef stew by adding some garlic powder, some onion powder, some cumin, some chicken bouillon cube, some adobo, followed by some ground oregano, which is one of my favorite ingredients, some sazon, and if you don't have sazon, you guys already know you can use some paprika, some light sodium soy sauce, and last but not least, some olive oil. And I add olive oil anytime I'm making an awesome marinade because it just makes all those flavors come together. Then we're going to mix this until it's well combined and until the beef is well coated. Now, the trick to making a beef stew and making a good beef stew at that is that you wanna give the meat a long time to marinate. And we're talking a day or two, but at the very least an hour. Then we're going to add some olive oil to a pot and you want to make sure that that pot gets really, really hot because we're then going to brown the beef. And we're going to brown the beef on all sides. And you'll notice that as the beef is browning on all sides, it's going to release its own juices and it's going to begin cooking in its own juices. And it's very easy to think that the beef is actually cooked. And I actually used to make this mistake all the time thinking that when the beef was like this, it was ready to eat. But if you were to taste it, it's actually pretty tough and it's not fun. So what you want to do is you want to give it a last stir and make sure that there aren't any pieces burning and no pieces stuck to the bottom of the pot. And then we're going to add three to four cups of water. And what I do is I add the water to the same bowl that I was marinating the beef in and I add it to the beef and I make sure that the beef is covered in water. Then I cover it and let that come to a boil. And I check it from time to time to make sure that it still has enough water because we're gonna let this boil away for at the very least an hour or until our beef is really tender. So once our beef is tender, you wanna check it and then you're gonna wanna add some regular potatoes and some carrots. And we're gonna mix that in together as well. Now, keep in mind that while your beef is tender, your carrots and your potatoes are raw and they're hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another two cups of water or an enough water for the potatoes and the beef and the carrots to be covered. And we're gonna let that cook away for about five minutes. And then we're going to add the sweet potatoes. Now I add the sweet potato seconds because the sweet potato actually cooks a lot faster than the regular potatoes. So I give the regular potatoes and the carrots a head start. Keep in mind that this is a spicy beef stew. So I like to add some red pepper flakes, but if spicy food is not your thing, then feel free to skip this step altogether because this beef stew tastes amazing even if it's not spicy. Now we're going to add the tomato paste and the tomato paste is really going to bring this dish all together because the tomato paste is going to give our beef stew a really nice vibrant color and it's also going to thicken our stew. So we wanna be sure to really mix in that tomato paste because tomato paste is pretty stubborn. Now let's say you don't have tomato paste lying around the house, or you're just not a really big fan of cooking with tomato paste, then you can also use some tomato sauce. Now the trick to making your beef stew pretty thick is to let it simmer away, and the longer it simmers, the thicker it will become. But you wanna be sure not to let it simmer for too long because then the potatoes, especially the sweet potatoes, will begin to dissolve, and funny enough, this will also make your beef stew pretty thick. Another trick to making your beef stew fairly thick is to letting it cool completely and then reheating it. And it's going to make for a delicious beef stew. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe for a spicy beef stew. Now this beef stew tastes so great the next day as leftovers or if you pack it for lunch. So if you can wait a whole day to eat this dish, then you're going to be in for a delicious surprise. Now, I'm not going to wait a whole day because frankly, I am way too hungry and it's dinner time right now. But if you have any questions on this recipe, visit my website, chefzcooks.com, or see the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and let all your friends know that we are cooking some really delicious food here on Made to Order. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next week. Y buen provecho. Oh.